So Blender version 4.1 was just released a few days ago, and in the new update they have removed the procedural Musgrave texture. Now you don't need to freak out because you can actually get the same exact effect with Blender's noise texture, and I'll be showing you how to do that later in this video. And if you'd like to check out all of the new updates and features of Blender version 4.1, then I'll have a link in the description to this page here on Blender's website, and you can also check out their update video which they've recently released on their YouTube channel. Now since the Musgrave texture has been removed from Blender, you might be wondering if any of your other projects that are using the Musgrave texture have been corrupted. But thankfully, when you open an older version in the newer version, Blender is automatically going to switch out the Musgrave for the noise texture, and it will change any settings to make sure the texture looks the same. So this is a procedural material tutorial that I created a little while back, my procedural extreme rusty metal, and you can see here in the older version of Blender, we have a Musgrave texture. But if I open up this file with the newest Blender version, you can see Blender has updated it and added this noise texture instead, but it's changed the settings so the material isn't messed up. Now you might be wondering how you can get the same effect of the Musgrave texture in the new Blender version. So over here I have Blender 4.2.0, and then over here I have the new Blender version, Blender 4.1. So what I'm going to do is go to the Add menu, and I'm just going to search for the Musgrave texture, and I will just preview it, and you can see here's what the Musgrave looks like. And then over here on the new Blender version, you can see if I search for Musgrave, there's no Musgrave. So I will add the noise texture instead, and I'll just preview it. So if you want the noise texture to look the same as the Musgrave, you just need to take this setting right here, the type, and you just need to change it to the hetero terrain. And now you can see it looks exactly the same. Now something that I would very commonly do with the Musgrave texture to make it look more interesting is I would turn the dimension to zero, and then I would turn the detail all the way up to 15. And you can see that creates a really cool detailed Musgrave texture. So if you want to get the same effect with the new noise texture in the new Blender version, which doesn't have the Musgrave, what you can do is change this setting here back to the FBM. Then what you you can do is turn the detail all the way up to 15 and then the roughness here you can turn that all the way up to 1. And then the last thing that you need to do is just uncheck the normalize. And so now you can see using the noise texture in the new Blender version you can get the exact same effect. And so this is also useful to know if you're following one of my older tutorials or an older tutorial which uses the Musgrave you can get the same exact effect using these settings here. And if you like using procedural materials in your projects then you may be interested in checking out my ultimate Blender procedural material pack, which comes with all of my procedural materials pre-set up for Blender's asset browser with custom thumbnails, sorted catalogs, and customizable node groups. So when you purchase and install my ultimate material pack as an asset library into Blender, you can just open the asset browser in any of your projects and just drag and drop any of the materials into your 3D scenes. And if you'd like to learn how to create any of my procedural materials, definitely check out my Blender procedural material tutorial playlist here on YouTube. Links will all be in the description. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.